This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to use Disk Utility again, and we're going to look at some file systems other than our standard Mac OS X file systems. And what I have here is a fairly extreme situation. I have an external drive that has been partitioned into four different volumes. I have labeled each one as the type of volume that it is. So we have one that's Mac OS Extended, one that is formatted as MS-DOS FAT32, one that is formatted as NTFS, and one that is formatted by the old Unix file system. So let's just start off before we get into disk utility by trying to copy our disk image of our security update to each one of these. We have no problem copying from our Mac OS X internal hard drive to our Mac OS X external volume. We also have no problem in copying to the MS-DOS FAT32 volume. But when we try to copy to the NTFS volume, we get a little do not enter symbol and we can't put it in here. If we look up here in the upper left hand corner, it shows us that there is a pencil with a line through it that means it's read only. And the same thing happens when we try to copy to the UFS or Unix file system. So what's happened here is that Apple only supports certain partition types for reading and writing. But Apple does allow us to read from many types of partitions. So let's go ahead and get into disk utility. Okay, so we're in disk utility, and let's get information on the NTFS volume first. We'll highlight it and click Info, and we see that it is a Windows NT file system, and this means that it's read only. Let's check the MS-DOS one. It is a MS-DOS file system, FAT32, and of course we can read and write to that. And then let's go ahead and check the Unix file system and it is Unix file system UFS, and we cannot write to that file system. So disk utility is very helpful in figuring out these sorts of things if you have external volumes or even internal volumes and they're labeled oddly and you don't know what type they are, bring up disk utility and do a git info to check out their type of file system that's mounted there. Let's go into the terminal. And we'll use disk util, the command line version. And we want to just list our current volumes. And note that the partition type of our internal drive is still GUID partition scheme, but our external drive is now FDISC partition scheme, which is also known as MBR format. And we have the different types of volumes that are mounted there listed for us. And note that the last one, oddly enough, even though it's number four here, the slice of the partition is slice five. We can get approximately the same information that we got in the disk utility with the info windows by using disk util, info, and then giving it a device identifier. So like dev slash disk two s five, will show us the information about our Unix file system volume. So you can check on the status of your drives with disk utility, either the graphical version or the command line version, and that information should tell you what your file system is. And just to reinforce the fact that we can't really write to these file systems, even in the command line, I'm gonna change directory into my volumes in TFS. Try to use the touch command to create a file, and it says it's a read-only file system, so we can't do that. The way that we configure this stuff out, what file systems are supported and not supported for reading and writing, is to use disk util again, and if you can't remember the parameter, just remember to press return, and if we scroll up here, we will see that there is a parameter called list file systems, so disk util, list file systems, and that tells us what file systems are supported by Apple. 